What is going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we got part four of the Weekend League recap. Um, yeah, y'all thought them last games were rough. Wait till you see these games, bro. I was struggling, boy. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me. Like, I lost so many. I lost, like, two in a row one time and then two in a row the next time. Like, bro, I was just so out of it. Like, I had to stop playing. I just, I just, you know... When you, when you get on a streak where you're just playing bad, whether you're getting lucky or you're just like, I don't really know how to describe it. I was just sucking butt, bro. Pause. Like, I was just so bad. Like, this is the worst I've ever shown. Like, I'm not embarrassed to show it because it's just like a video game, but still, like, you know, I mean, I normally play good, you know, but... Um, I'm not gonna be one of those youtubers that just cuts out their L's and just tries to hide it from people I'm a real one. I'm gonna show you the losses and Boy y'all are gonna think I just suck bro because I was I was sucking like Super bad, but you know, I just not on my a game so Yeah, I mean we're, we're still the team's still looking the same. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have a few zero chill players um, probably in the next week's recap, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this catastrophe. So I believe we're either eight and four or nine and four at this point. So uh, going up against Big Drippa. So I mean, I mean, it, bro, this guy. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, so many missed tackles, letting Josh Jacobs, letting slow ass Josh Jacobs drag, run for 56 yards. Like, come on, bro. And then on first and 15, he dials up a cover two beater. And I don't know how that was a touchdown. I figure, I think that should have been on, at least on the one or inch line, but it doesn't really matter, you know, because he would probably would have ran dive and scored on the next play anyways. But second and one, we're already down seven, trying to do a little stop and go to Darren Waller. Uh, gets us upfield across the 50 yard line, third and eight. Uh, cook up a nice dot to uh, Tyreek Hill over the middle of the field on that post route. And then on his first and goal, uh, we run the exact same play, give him like three options to use her, and then we hit the one where he doesn't go to, which was the wheel route low ball to Reggie Bush uh, to tie the game up. So he's got Kyler Murray at quarterback, so that's why I wasn't really worried. You know, gunslinger quarterbacks, they'll rip you up in the passing game. But he, he was, he was, he was. Uh, cooking with Kyler Murray though I will give him that he hits me over the middle with uh, Alvin Kamara to take him well across midfield inside the uh, 25 yard line and on second and 16 like oh, how, how do you defend that any better bro like I had a deep half over there I was like hey bro come on that was kind of BS Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I should have had the pick there I don't know maybe I'd I just didn't get an animation at the last second, but see, I knew where he wanted to go because I knew where the vulnerable spot in my defense was. So you know, you know, shit happens. Shit happens just like this play. Shit happens <laughs> because uh, Jonathan Abram he had a really good user, you know, and, and like right here I had it. I had it the left side double flatted. So maybe. Um, you know, looking back on it, Taylor Mays in that hook curl. Probably should have left him in the hook curl, but, you know, it is what it is. And there I had my running back wide open on fourth and nine. I decided to force it to Chad Johnson. You know, just, just bad reads all around by me. Um, you know, he did get a little lucky in, in certain parts of the game, but for the most part, going back and watching it, he did play a pretty good game. So, you know, first and ten, we're running around. We throw a completion to Tyreek Hill, and something happened, bro. Like... I think my dude had some bad internet or something because he did lag and miss an extra point before halftime, even though I didn't show that, but connection to our peer had been lost, so I think my dude had some bad internet, so we ended, we actually ended up getting the win for that, uh, so now we do have nine wins, so nine and four heading in to our second game against the Washington football team or in their stadium at least. He had Chargers uniforms. He's got Dante Culpepper. We lurk him up the middle. Sick lurk boy with Jeremy Chin. He thought that he thought that running back was open boy. I swear he did. He comes out in a dollar defense. I audible to halfback base and double team the defensive lineman or defensive tackle. And then we hit a one cut to the left with Reggie Bush and score a touchdown to go up seven to zero. Running by Montez Sweat right there. Um, and which brings us to a first and ten. Now this guy had some dots, bro, just like the last guy. 
just like the last guy we played, he had some dots. Like he, he knew what to do. So I mean, you, and then when you when you get down at the goal line, you're just gonna. It's just best to just run the ball. And uh, he he had Ladani and Tomlinson's 50 cards, so he was using LT. I'll tell you that much. You know, he had a good strategy. I mean, you can't knock his strategy. Pass the ball, and when you get inside the 10 or 5 yard line, just uh, pound it in there. But here, I probably should have thrown the in route, but we, instead we tried to force it, get an incompletion on fourth down. Uh, he gets all the way to the 17 yard line where he uh, finds a nice dot to Chris Cooley, his tight end on first and goal and then on first and goal he just pounds it back in with the same run play he used uh, last drive and that's a really tough run play to stop because there's an RPO with it too so I feel like stretches with RPOs their blocking is still good um, and here what the heck bro like I was throwing to Chad Johnson and he just he decides to play volleyball with it and swat it right into acrobat Dion's hands I'm like come on bro like way to sell like you know, earthquake. That's what that's what triggers the earthquakes, man. Like, <laughs> there's first they were random, and now they're getting triggered. <laughs> I swear these earthquakes, bro. Heading into our third game of the video, um, here second and four, finding Tyreek Hill over the middle. Now this game kind of got away from me right at the end. You guys are gonna see how. But uh, we hit Jar Darren Waller in the flats, take it across midfield. Uh, we get to the 16-yard line on second and three. And here, um, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers, boy. No other quarterback has done this. Discount double check, baby. Diving into the end zone. I, w I had the full intent of sliding, bro. That's the thing. Like I hit the button to slide. But instead of tapping it, I held the button too long. And when you hold it, you dive. So I was like, oh, crap, I'm going to fumble. But damn, bro discount double check making a play and then he's got tim tebow at quarterback so he was running the ravens playbook and he had this read option play even though i had my defense set to conservative on the quarterback to where they would watch quarterbacks on options they i think he had a read block he had a, he had a lead blocker out of that read option so it, it made it to where it didn't matter i guess so here we throw it to the wheel route on second and 15 uh, with about a minute left until halftime, first and goal. Um, I was going to run the ball, but I was like, you know what? He might stop me, so I'm going to catch him off guard. I was hoping he would run commit, but he was in a zone defense, thankfully, and he left his assignment, so I could just low ball to Tyree Kill and uh, put us up 14-7. to So this was a really good game. This is one of my closer games of the weekend, um, and I've never been against Tim Tebow at Q QB before, and he's not exactly a meta QB. You know, because he's not the fat, he's not like a Lamar, but he's he, he doesn't get good abilities, so that's that's why you hardly ever see him online. Still a cool card though that he's in Madden, but here we try to force it. Um, he we try to force the ball to Tyreek, and we probably should have kicked the field goal because we probably would have won the game. So uh, third and six, he takes off of Tim Tebow and he slides down, and then. He subbed in Lamar Jackson and ran that read option again where he had the lead blocker, which I guess that lead blocker negates your uh, defensive adjustment or your coach adjustment where you watch the QB on options. Because I, I was super confused by that. I was like, come on, man. Like, And then here on third and seven, I tried to bait him. You know, and I, I, I had the full intent of sliding, but I hit the button too late and uh, discount double check gets cracked and put on his booty. So he gives up a touchdown. I mean, he gives up a fumble. But we're giving up a touchdown on defense. You know, he had he had read option and 0-1 trap. You know, and they were both really good. So 0-1 trap's really good in general. But he scores a touchdown to take the lead. And on fourth and four, we hit the low pass to Chad Johnson. This needs to be our uh, game-tying drive. And uh, here on first and ten, we go to Tyreek Hill. We probably shouldn't have made this read, but we held aggressive catch and just hoped for the best. And he came down with it, bailed me out there. And I feel like we scored too early, man. Like, we really did. On third and nine, he finds a dot over the middle. Um, and then here he goes to his 0-1 trap, which he only ran a couple times. But, you know, he, he had me on my toes, man. He had me on my toes. He got it all the way in field goal range, and with one second left, he kicked the game-winning field goal. And that one hurt, man. I was like, man, I really lost to Tim Tebow, even when uh, Discount Double Check put the team on his back with that touchdown run. So it brings us to a 9-6 and six record. So yeah, man, we're 9-6. and six. I usually lose about six or seven games anyway, but it usually comes at the tail end, right? 
you know, like when you start playing these, playing all them goons or whatever after you get your 13, 16 wins that I normally shoot for. But to have six losses this early was really, really frustrating. Like, I just, I didn't feel like playing. So, like, you know, of course, all three of these games that I showed were, all three of them were L's. Like, and two, and like, two of them were, or the first one was just a horrible L. Like, it's just a crap the bed kind of L, you know. And then the the second L was one that I probably could have stayed in, but I, I feel like I couldn't have won it anyways. You know, I was just, after that one volleyball tip pick, you know, I was like, man, I'm done with that shit. So, <laughs> you know, I quit out of that game. And, um, and then, of course, the final game we lost by a buzzer beater. So, um, yeah, we really lost to Tim Tebow, bro. Like, I can't believe I'm saying this. I really lost to Tim Tebow, you know, and, you know, I wish, to, you know, Tim Tebow, he's good. He's a fun card to use in Madden, but the way the meta is with quarterbacks this year with, you know, strong arms and gunslingers as opposed to the mobile quarterbacks that can leave the pocket, it's just a different game. You know, that's why I'm using Aaron Rodgers instead of um, Lamar Jackson. So, you know, I hope you guys enjoy. We have one more recap after this, and I'll see you guys then. Uh, peace.